right, this is what we're going to make tonight. I'm really interested in uh, these sort of like little spy toys. And uh, this would be a lighter, or the shell of a lighter, with a little mini camera uh, inside it. Okay, it's very simple, and that's why we're doing it, sort of for relative beginners. All right, so Blender 2.79, let's delete everything. Switch to cycles and do this. Let's press one and five to look from the front. All right, and we are going to just bring in a cube. I will bring it up and we'll scale this thing down. I'll scale it in the Y, make it a little bit like the shell of a lighter or the case. Okay, so I've got that. Now, I'm going to, in edge selection, I'm going to shift and click all of these edges. And I'm going to be making end guns. And this is not going to be a problem for this type of model. Um, it's a nice, quick, easy way of doing it. And it, it'll end up looking good. So I don't want it a little bit narrower, I don't know. And so that's what we're going to do here. Okay, um, if you were animating this or uh, deforming it or um, applying specific textures in certain ways, that could be a problem, but I don't think it'll be a problem. So we'll see. So I'm going to select those edges and I'm going to bevel them. I'm going to control B and I'm going to pull back and I'm going to give a good number of segments by rolling my mouse up. Okay, to make it nice and round. So I'm going to do that and deselect and then I'm going to shift alt and click the upper edge and the bottom edge, both of them together. And this one I want to bevel, but not as much. Control B, pull back just a little ways like that. I'm going to roll my mouse up twice and deselect. In face selection, I'm going to select that upper face there. And I'm going to hit E and I'm going to extrude downwards. And I'll take a look from the front and hit Z for wireframe so I can see. And I'll just pull it down near the bottom. All right, back into solid view. And this is what I've got. And I think that'll leave me a sort of a sharp edge right. Uh, let's switch to edge right there, that inner one. So I'll bevel that just a little bit. So I'm going to go Control B, pull back, and I'll put in a segment or two. Uh, I think I will also put an edge loop down near the bottom. Control R. Oh, what happened? There we go. There we go. I'm going to do that and let's have a little look at this uh, with smoothing okay so it looks fine we're not really going to see on the inside anyhow um, let's uh, forget to save let's shift D and copy this and bring it up and that's going to represent the the top part as well I'm going to flip it around so I'm going to go RX 180 I'm going to deny RY I suppose all right, so that would fit on top. Let's make it a bit shorter. So I'm going to look from the front and wireframe. I'm going to box select there, whether you're an edge or vertex or poly. Um, face selection doesn't matter. I'm going to make that in the head a little bit smaller like that. Let's have a look at that. So imagine the two just sort of click together. wondering if I want it a bit narrower. Okay, now if we do have some shading issues, you can often get away with either uh, selecting the face and hitting I for inset. And I think that did the job or uh, E to extrude. If it's a nice flat surface, that will that will work. Um, I'm going to flip this open, so I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to a, a shift all or I'm just gonna just click a bottom edge there one of those bottom edges I'm gonna switch over to 3d cursor and shift a cursor selected bring my 3d cursor right to that spot and uh, use it as my pivot point and then I'm gonna rotate in the Y so I'm gonna pull it open like that and then uh, I can leave my 3d cursor uh, right there I'm gonna switch back to median point though and um, by the way, once again, also if, I, if you see the shading issue on the inside, feel free to just hit I or just E to extrude. And again, if it's a nice flat surface, it shouldn't give you a problem in a model like this. Shift A, 
cylinder, I'll go for 20, 24, and nothing. Actually, you know what? Those end guns are just fine. because we're using end guns anyhow and I'm going to be filling it in you know that is just fine okay go to edit mode and I'm going to scale and this is from the side view let's uh, rotate x90 and just scale again just to simulate sort of a hinge just like that and uh, what we'll do is we'll put on smoothing and to help with the smoothing not that we're ever going to see this detail i'll shift alt and click that and that and control b and then do it at the same time one uh, two it's probably overkill okay it's going to be nice and smooth and that's what we have so far okay so there's a little lighter case and uh, I'm never going to see the bottom, but I mean, if you were going to see the bottom and you wanted to, you could hit E on that. And that should correct that problem. Okay, now uh, I'm going to select this, shift S, cursor to selected. And I'm going to bring in another cube. And scale it. And get the width that I want for my camera. I could do the same thing on the inside. Uh, scale in the X and now bring this up as high as I want it doesn't have to necessarily fit under the cap the, the camera could have been raised you know um, or it could be sitting where it should be so I might give myself a little bit more room like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this edge right here this is from the front okay and I'm going to bevel control B just to make a bit of a round Part one, two, three. I'll go with three, and then I'm going to shift. I'm going to, I'm going to select that edge right there, and I'm going to bevel a lot more, like this, and just experiment. And I'm going to put a lot of segments in there, okay, to give that kind of effect. Shift Alt and click that edge and that edge to get the front and the back and bevel, but not too much. Maybe like that. One, two. Let's see how it's going so far with smoothing. Okay, so I get this round edge here and I get that. Now we're going to be doing some more work on this, so we'll see how, how it looks. We're going to create the little viewfinder there. So I'm going to bring in a cube and scale it down. I'll bring it forward to the approximate size that I would want it. Scale that in the Z. And hit G. I'm just going to position it. Let's say I want it there all right so i'm going to scale this in the y let's make sure it goes all the way through <laughs> i didn't have to go that far let's make this nice rounded edges so let's go um where am i going here ah, these four edges here and we'll bevel those just a little bit I'll put one two segments there okay so i'll get a rounded rectangle hole okay so we're going to do boolean select my main object modifiers add modifier boolean difference and the object you see i drop or select that now I'll hit apply take this i don't need that anymore now we've messed up the smoothing all right uh but we're going to try to fix that so before we do that though go into edit mode shift alt and click that edge and that edge it should go all the way around on the front and on the back and at the same time let's bevel that edge Control b one two that corrects some of the smoothing but not everything and that's all the holes i'm going to punch so now i'm going to do this because it's a nice flat surface i'm going to select this shift and select that i'll do that here too and i'm going to hit e and that adds another face and hopefully because it's nice and flat that shouldn't be a problem and it looks okay uh, i can also come in here and go shift alt and click in there and i can expand it by maybe one and under shading UVs, go smooth, and that might make it look a little bit nicer. All right, so that's what we got. Okay, and now Shift A, Mesh Circle, Rotate X90, bring it out. You can see it. Edit mode, scale it. 
didn't really matter how many vertices you use for this. I mean, it's not too big anyhow. I'm gonna make like the lens. Um, I might be pulling the camera up a bit. Um, what I'll do in the meantime is I'll just hide that. And I'll take this piece, I'll go into edit mode. And that's okay, vertex or edge, doesn't matter. E and S come in a ways. I'm going to want to put something around this, so I want a nice big region there. So I'm gonna scale a bit more. E and S, I'm coming a bit more. Actually, I think I'm gonna pull this part out. So let's, in face selection, shift, alt, and click there. Now let's hit the period key to zoom in. And let's hit E to extrude and come out a ways. And actually, you know what? Let's do that later. Let's do that later. <clears throat> Let's uh, take this section, go E and S, like that. And then we will... Um, let's fill this up. Um, I don't know if I need to, but... Uh, let's go E and uh, Alt-M, Origin Center. Okay, so I've got some regions here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this region and... Uh, I am going to go E and I'm going to pull it out like that. And I'm going to take this region, shift alt and click there. I'm going to go, let's see what I want to do here. Actually, I want this region here in the middle here. Oh, you can design this any way you want. E and I'm going to bring it back and probably disappear. Okay, let's take the whole thing out. And I'm going to take the whole thing now, E and extrude it select it all control n flip polys and let's see what i've got i've got something like that let's put a subdivision surface on this of two i'll put smoothing on and then just throw edge loops control r slide one out to there and i think one into there control r there and here and let's do stuff here you can throw them in wherever you feel they're they're needed i might bring something in there we get this kind of effect. I'll make it just a little bit sharper by putting one on the edge there. And oh, not there. Yeah, there we go. Right there. I don't want it too sharp. Let's take this now. I could be getting rid of back faces, and that's probably a good idea. But now is that? I actually think I want those little dash things on the inner circle here. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to try to expand this middle region. So I'm going to select there and there. And uh, what else? I can take off subdivision surface. You see it a little bit better. Let's do it this way. Select there and go Control Plus and Control Plus. I can deselect that. All right. Let's S to scale. Let's scale it out like that. can put stuff on there that looks fine let's alt h and bring back that so this thing is just sort of peeking through let's hit n and uh under shading turn on ambient occlusion make it start look a little bit nicer with shadows okay so you can do any design you want for the lens uh, actually, I'm going to hide that again. Let's come back. In fact, I'm going to just focus on this. So I'm going to go Shift H and look from the front. And I do have my 3D cursor or my origin uh, set to there, right? And uh, I think I need my 3D cursor there. Shift S, Shift S cursor to the to the center to select it. Let's uh, not do that. Let's bring in another cube and scale it way way down. I could have used a plane. I usually do, but Scale it down some more and bring it out. And let's make this longer. Let's scale in this head. And delete this front face. But uh, we'll scale in the Y to make it thinner. And I'm going to flip this around around the X, R, X 180. So I did get rid of the. Actually, you know what? No. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I, maybe some of you can solve this for me. Okay, I got rid of that back face, right? And I'm going to scale in the Y a little bit more. And 
I think it's going to cause a problem when I spin. Put on a bevel. I know it's a lot of to use. We're going to spin this, and so it's going to blow a lot of polys, but I don't really care. Okay, let's try that. That might be a little bit too big. Scale in the X. I'm not sure about smoothing right now, anyhow. Okay, okay, so here's what I want to do. Looking exactly from the front, select it. I'll do something about this. Make sure my origin is right here in the middle. I'll go into edit mode, A, and then under tools, I'm going to come down and choose spin. And I want to spin 360. 360, yep. And I get a mess. All right, this is all messed up. Come back. Bring it out. Just go F, put the face back on. Bring it back in. That still may be too thick, but go back into edit mode <clears throat> and spin again, and it works. And I don't know why, but it does. I just want a bunch of these. That's good enough. Select them all. Um, uh, w remove doubles and control N to flip polys. And this is the effect I get. You can do any shape you want, but that's fine with me. Now you could um, shift H and you could go around now and get rid of the back faces. And I might be able to do it like select similar polygon sides. No, not that one. Uh, select similar normal x faces and then i've deleted those alt h bring everything back and this is what we've got so far and um can i get one no i can't want to get one there but get one more edge loop right there that may clear that up yeah it looks okay depends what you want to do there if you want to put a little UV sphere or something. Let's put a little button on the top here. Um, yeah, let's do a brand new one. Match circle. I see I'm using 32 vertices. That's that's all right. I'll just come like this. Look from the top. G. We'll bring it over here. Instead of punching a hole, we'll just make like a little rim. E and S. this up a little bit a little bit and we'll maybe we'll grab some of these bevel and I can put on a subdivision surface on that and I can actually make uh, make a button out of this and grab one of those rings shift D and P to break it out set the origin of geometry go into it e and bring it up like this so it's the right size e and s a little bit e and s one more and then e and l tab i'll do it that way I'm, alternatively you could go uh mesh normals no <laughs> sorry faces grid fill no not fill mesh faces grid fill and then you can play with uh, how much you want and you know I'll make a little button I'll bring an edge loop up here we'll bring one down and we'll hit uh, smooth and we'll just have a look at this all right no. in fact let's put an edge loop there to make that a little sharper and bring this down now once again you could uh, be getting rid of back faces. Not. Okay. That's a little bit big, that whole thing. Unless you want that big of a button.
you just decide how big that should be. You know, and that's that's basically it. Um, and then, oh yeah, maybe a little bit of glass in there. So let's uh, select here. Um, oh, what am I doing? Um, there. Select there and shift S cursor to select it. That'll bring the 3D cursor right in the middle there. And I'll just bring it a plane. Rotate X 90. And scale it down so it should be right in the middle there. And I'm going to give it a bit of thickness. So let's make sure it's big enough. Let's see, it should be in the middle. I don't know how well you're going to see it. I might want it actually up there because I'm going to render from the front so it's somewhat visible okay and I think we would be ready to do something um, let's look from the front shift C bring a 3d cursor right down there and shift a mesh plane scale level 20 I don't know. and I'm not very good at making these backdrops um, I figure it's just extrude and then bevel like this so and put in a bunch of segments so I could be wrong. And then maybe subdivision surface. You know, that should work okay. That's pretty darn big, I think, for what I want to do. Um, anyways, I'll just I'll just do it like that for now. And we'll bring in a camera. View, look through it. Uh, look through it. We hit the home button. And um, bring in a lamp. I'll just I'll just bring in a sun. to the node editor over here I said the node editor yes oh, my son. Right. I'm gonna rotate this in the Z like that okay yeah and uh, some materials um, I'm going to click uh, new and get rid of the diffuse and shift a shader principle I'm not going to be teaching anything great here I'm just showing you I'm going to switch the base color down like that and metallic I'll put at zero point I don't know six maybe in roughness zero point three just leave it like that for the moment and this is going to be like metal and pretty much everything is going to be that. For now. Let's get off of that over there. Those are going to be probably black. But... Selected the cycles and turn off the camera. We're not there. Okay, so uh, let me just double check how I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, 
else we got that? Yeah, so I don't exactly want a complete metal. And uh, we have the black on the inside there. This area here. Right in here. Okay. So um, let's go to materials and uh, let's create a new one. Really simple ones. Make this the dark block. And this could be. That's black, whatever. So make sure everything's okay. Yeah. And come in. And we'll take um, this stuff here. We'll take also this piece and we'll make that metal. And that piece here, the button will do black. Do like that. Let's take that and we'll make that. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do this. If I just wanted to do it really easy like this and give it a little bit of a like a little bit of a tint so it's a bit more visible and bring the transmission up. And a but to have a tiny bit of roughness. Let's try that. And we'll see. That might not be a good color for it, but I don't know. And then I was thinking I could um, come over here and uh, say texture noise. And I'm gonna go control T. I think as I have Node Wrangler on, I'm gonna switch this to object. And then, um, I don't know if I need color ramp, but, okay, well let's go, um, Maybe I will put it in anyhow. I can take these and move them over a bit. This one. Let's tighten that up. And then we'll go into a bump. see what's going on there so let's first of all put this at 0 0.3 maybe and um, change the scale here to say maybe 25 and here say 5 5 5 and uh, let's get out of there let's do that Oh, by the way, this I need to give a material, and I'm, I actually want it sort of like a darkish color like that. You start to see that. Okay, so um, I'm going to try 45. And we'll, just, we'll try a little render here. All right, uh, one thing I should do for the sun is change some of these parameters. at this and uh, let's just do a little test test render and see how she's looking and uh, we'll be back in a minute I think I'm going to tone down the 
the uh, noise and then you can mess around with the lights and place them where you like um, so I'll just uh, I'll just do that part uh, right here so back over to the node editor and uh, let's see let's put this at uh, 0 0.2 and uh, come over here and I'll switch this to um, maybe 55 maybe this at 7, 7, 7 just double check that I've got that on object yeah all right, let's, uh, let's just take this, bring it up, and go for a slightly different view here of the camera. I'm going to rotate this around and just see what that's looking like. I'll just do a render from there, and all I'm doing for that is I've set my samples at 200. Like maybe I'll, maybe I'll go 250, and my size is 70, and I got denoising on. Nothing, nothing very incredible. And I'll hit F12 to render that, and then we'll just you know we'll see how it goes. So you could spend as much time as you want, put as much detail, and put some text on there, um, other little buttons. But I just wanted to show you just a real quick way that you could make a cute little spy cam um, in a lighter uh, case. Um, admittedly, it uses N-Gons, but um, as, you can, as you can see, I, I think, uh, it still comes out looking, uh, looking okay uh, if you're not uh, animating or putting crazy textures or deforming, um, just for quick, fun modeling practice. All right, so I'll let that render and uh, we'll come back we'll have a final look at that